Hello, hello everyone and welcome to World of Darkness News this week, uh, told with a very coarse voice of yours truly. Uh, it's a pollination season and Sweden is completely covered in uh, pollen of all kinds. Um, actually going outside today, I thought that there's snow out there, which was weird because it's 20 degrees Celsius currently, but it was just all of the uh, little tree things, <laughs> the, the tree babies that were just lying in, um, in hills around the paths. So my voice, unfortunately, is going to be like this for some time. But I hope that it's not going to uh, take anything away from uh, the news which we're going to share this week because we have a plenty. We don't have a guest today for the interview, but that's actually good because I do have a lot of things to cover. And later on, you will all be able to interact with uh, our special guests for today, which are fast travel games developers who will be um, there for the Ask Me Anything on Discord right after the stream will end. Uh, starting from 6 p.m. Uh, sharp, but uh, we'll see, uh, you know, we might be there a little bit earlier. <laughs> we will have Fast Travel Games on our Discord uh, answering your questions, and those of you who will participate in this Ask Me Anything will have chance to win exclusive Barclay Mansion keys, which I do have one of them here somewhere, I believe. Do I? Or have I lost it again? Oh no, there it is! Of course it is there. It's it's pretty beautiful and I love it. It has the little uh, engraving thing Barclay mentioned in there. So yeah, have you guys played uh, Afterlife already and have you enjoyed it? Let me know. I do know that the game is VR only, so uh, that's the uh, only limitation in the availability, but uh, it's been a pretty, pretty good fun for me. I need to upload my full Let's Play to YouTube. That's something I need to do next. Okay, guys, so let's get to the news and what we are going to uh, cover today. And we have news from uh, a very big span of things. Um, we're going to start with a little spoiled surprise uh, from Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. And uh, then we're going to talk about Pride Month and everything that we uh, have planned for that. Uh, then we're going to talk about Nightlife, Nightlife Chronicle, announced by Renegade, which we're very excited about. Um, we're going to talk a little bit deeper about the upcoming Elysium event, which happens next weekend. Uh, there were also pretty fun things shared by Flyos Games regarding Werewolf the Apocalypse Retaliation board game. And of course, Fast Travel Games uh, Ask Me the Thing is coming. I do also have some nice pride highlights from uh, social media and for, for things that people were sharing this week. So, oh yes, we got to talk about rivals. <laughs> Justin just reminded me uh, in chat. Uh, this is something, just a little, a little fun trivia. So recently we are, um, you know, trying to slowly, very, very slowly get back to meeting uh, in person with the rest of the team because we did spend a last long time working from home and we will still work from home for a uh, uh, for a lot of time uh, in the future, but uh, we do meet once per week uh, with my team for various playtest discussions and things. Uh, it's always great to to see people in real life and uh, have those uh, very um, very good planning sessions about things that we are cooking for you guys. And yesterday we met because hey, we finally have Vampire the Masquerade Rivals, and we really wanted to play it together in person. So we did, and let it be known far and wide that yours truly has wrecked the rest of the team yet again. <laughs> uh, I was playing as a Torator. I must admit, Torator is my favorite clan to play so far in Rivals. It's, uh, it's just my personal pick. I, I feel the most comfortable playing them. I feel like in the future I might try to um, play a little bit more with the decks and try to switch things a bit, uh, because I am playing with the basic Torator deck as for now. Uh, but uh, they're just so fun to play. Uh, Karim was playing as a Malkavian and he was doing the schemes. Uh, Thomas was playing as a Bruja and he was trying to be brutal, but he was very peaceful for a Bruja. So I think that's why why Thomas was a little bit, um, you know, far when it comes to the points that he got. And Justin was playing a Ventru. It was interesting because he was, uh, Ventru in this game tries to accumulate titles for themselves in order to um, win the game. So in fact, you don't have to ever really leave your haven. You can just be in your secluded zone for the whole game and enjoy uh, yourself getting power. 
and that's how you can win the game as Ventru. But uh, J uh, Justin has a very good um, had a very good opportunity for that because there was a chance for him to claim the title of the prince. But it would put such a big target on his back that he didn't do that. And in the end, yours truly won by uh, seducing literally everyone in the city. <laughs> I even seduced Second Inquisition once, which was pretty, pretty epic. Uh, I was able to, <laughs> to, to uh, get rid of them uh, by seducing them. So yeah, traitors are great. Um, so yeah, we did enjoy playing a lot. I won, of course. I really, my team needs to step up. Like every game we play together, I always win. Like this is this is getting boring. <laughs> we can't do that anymore. <laughs> yes, and Justin was second place, which is which is pretty good too. All right, guys. So now to the news, but that was very important. I just just had to mention that. Let's start with Swan Song. I know that you guys are waiting for any news about this game, which has been cooked in silence for a while. Uh, for those of you who don't remember or don't know what Swan Song is, Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song is the CRPG game from Big Bad Wolf, which uh, was announced. Uh, oh my God! I think somewhere last year, if I remember, or, or two years ago, actually. I don't even remember, but uh, basically from the announcement so far, we did have the very beautiful cinematic trailer, which uh, which was uh, revealed uh, a little while ago. And we do know that this game takes part in Boston. It's a fully 3D RPG game, very similar in its genre to the previous game that the same developer did, which is called The Council. And uh, they are going with the same style of a game uh, that is this, um, you know, there's a lot of dialogues and choices involved that, uh, um, you know, make you make you cause the ruckus in the game in the different ways. Uh, you will be playing as three different characters in this game. So this is not a make your own character game, but in the, instead you will play as one of the three characters, Ventru, Torator and the Malakavian. And uh, these characters are um, were very briefly introduced in the previous uh, trailer. But uh, yeah, we are looking forward to what they are going to show next. And we know for sure that they are going to appear on one of the upcoming digital conventions. And that is Nacon Connect on July 6th. So that was announced already. Uh, Nacon Connect is um, a digital convention that um, uh, basically is going to show a lot of the different uh, products from the Nacon publisher and uh, Big Bad Wolf uh, is uh, one of the developers that is in that group. And uh, yeah, we of course, there's a lot of conventions coming and most of them do not uh, announce the games, in particular the titles which are going to, to be shown in there. But for Nacon in particular, this is their convention and Swan Song is uh, actually one of the characters from Swan Song is a l very nice part of the banner that advertises this uh, convention. So that was a little spoiler for what you're going to see. Uh, during uh, during this event. And yeah, uh, we might expect more news from Swan Song soon. I can't wait to show you more about that because uh, I am very excited. <laughs> and um, one of the three for the whole game or switching between them. The game is going to switch between them. You are not choosing uh, whether you're going to play as one of these three. Uh, you will be playing as all of them. So uh, all of them are included in the game. All of them are a vital part of the story. Uh, and all of them also um, show a little bit of a different perspective on the story and on the situation of the city. Um, you may already guess that it is different to play as a Torator, Venture, and Malkavian. They're very much different clans, but uh, it is also going to have its, uh, uh, its uh, effect in the story. And uh, you can hear more about that. There's a very nice video published by Big Bad Wolf, um, which is a developer interview. It's pretty long and in-depth. It talks about this game and their approach to it. And of course, there are going to be more news soon. So you will uh, very soon know more about Swan Song and uh, what comes into that. But yeah, that's a game in Boston, similar to The Council. So I recommend to check out that game. Uh, there might be some, uh, I'm not sure if, June, June in general is very much of a, of a season of sales. So you might grab this game on, on some discount. I don't know really, but uh, I think it's very much worth playing. I played it for a whole way before, way before I knew that they are working on a VTM game. And it was a really good game. I really enjoyed that. Okay. 
Oh, the council episode one is free to try, uh, says uh, one person in the chat. So yeah, if so, check it out. I, I think it's a it's a good game. It has few years now. It's uh, it released few years ago, but um, I think it really holds. Confirmed it. Okay, so yeah, you can check out the council for free, um, and uh, it is a really fun game. Okay, so. Pride Month. This is something that we are celebrating this year and uh, I am very happy with this idea and I'm very happy with what we are cooking out of this idea right now. But uh, what we were thinking about doing in general um, regarding World of Darkness Stories project, which some of you guys might already have read or checked out uh, on World of Darkness Instagram, World of Darkness Stories Facebook fan page and What Stories Tumblr, for a while now we are publishing little micro narratives narratives, uh, short stories that are set in the world of darkness and they are um, portraying uh, various different uh, themes and various different uh, uh, situations, clans um, or even creatures uh, that are appearing in the world of darkness. We had some rave stories, we had the werewolf story. So uh, there are various things happening in there. Uh, they are, you know, very quick to consume and free, of course, so you can uh, read them anytime. And for a while now, I was uh, thinking about including community stories in there and having some of you guys actually tell stories to us and we um, might amplify them by posting them on, on our socials. So we're starting it this month, specifically during Pride Month, to uh, aim for LGBTQ plus characters and players who are... Uh, coming up with really awesome backstories and really great characters. So what we are doing is we are gathering character backgrounds, very short snippets of what basically the background of your character, who they are, what do they do, um, what's their specialty, how they spend their own lives, very short description that you can send us um, on various social media, but we have also the Pride Month channel on Discord where we gather all of them. Uh, just write the description of your character, tag me in that, and uh, we are getting through all of them on all of our socials, and then we are picking some people for the in-character interviews. And how do they work? I actually do write to people that we choose, and we role-play out an interview in-character where I ask a few questions about um, your unlife and your embrace and your relationship with your sire, and the relationship with your special other and how does it exa exactly work. And this way we get a wonderful little looks in, into your characters and what you guys um, are cooking in your tabletop sessions. And uh, so far, the first one was published, Annie Lee Lind. I also have prepared another post for Celeste, which is a, a very nice Tremere character that I will post about soon. And uh, yeah, there are going to be way more of them coming this month. Uh, I've reached out to, I think, uh, around 10 people already, but I will be reaching out to more. And uh, we are going to publish them slowly on our socials this month and uh, make this really nice uh, uh, collage of various character stories and backgrounds. So yeah, I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy these. Uh, so far, the first one had a very good um, uh, response from the community but there are going to be more. And of course, we are also celebrating by sharing any of your chronicles, fan art, little stories, little tidbits, uh, anything connected to Pride. So if you are a part of the LGBTQ plus community or your characters are representing parts of that community, let us know. And when you are posting online, use hashtag, hashtag family pride, because this way we can easily uh, retweet and share um, the stuff that you guys are sharing. And I will be showing some of that uh, today um, at, at the later portion of the stream. But I'm super enjoying this. It's so fun. And uh, I knew that, you know, once I get to reach out some of the characters and, and actually in a role play talk to them and get to know a little bit more of the backstory. It's going to be great and possibly emotional. It was very emotional for me. Annelie's uh, history was just so nice and it was so great to read. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what other people are cooking. And speaking of Pride, uh, we have a little um, thing that we also launched with uh, little thing. It's not really a little thing. It's actually a great big thing, but uh, last year we did launch a store with By Night Studios, um, the Pride uh, section of our store. And this year it is back again and it is um, built up with more clans and with more flags. So you have a bigger variety. I think I counted and there are 204 designs in total available. 
And uh, yeah, this year, of course, uh, Simitsi, Salubri and Ravnos are added as well because they have joined V5 in December. So you can get yourself your Pride uh, Salubri uh, shirt or hoodie or whatever you want, which I am planning to do myself. <laughs> as much as I might say I'm, I'm a ministry vampire, I really want my Salubri swag. So I am going to get myself some Salubri stuff. Um, so yeah... Okami is asking about the orientation of Beckett. I can't speak for Beckett, but I did see some very funny memes about that <laughs> recently on our on our Discord. So you may check out um, memes about Beckett's uh, love life uh, in the what memes section on our on our Discord. There was one in particular which I was which I found very very funny. Um, Rorke Sumni is saying, I miss the Nagaraja. Nagaraja are still there, absolutely. They are a part of the clan Hekata. They're a bloodline for that clan. And uh, actually, I do know plenty of people who are role-playing um, Nagaraja vampires in V5 using the um, using the, the, the lore sheet. And of course, a lot of people are you know doing the traditional old-school Nagaraja thing which, when they are actually combining Organovore with... Uh, with the um, Hekate, with the Nagaraja lore sheet, so this actually gives you pretty much of a classic um, Nagaraja experience if you want to play them this way. But you don't have to. It, I think it's actually pretty fun to play Nagaraja with uh, not with Organovore, but only with the Merit, which allows you to also get uh, um, get blood from flesh, <laughs> and this way you can you can mix things up, which is which is pretty fun. You don't have to directly always um, consume your food this way. Uh, but um, you, you may opt for that option if there is a chance. Because it's pretty hard to get bodies these days. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's all in the codes of the blood guts, if you guys are interested in reading more about that. But uh, let's get on to the next part of the news, which is a Nightlife Chronicle. And that is uh, something that uh, Renegade has announced the last week. And this is going to be a part of the upcoming Elysium event. I'm going to talk more about Elysium right after this. But uh, Nightlife is uh, basically, to, to, to easily say, it's Miami by night. And it's very funny because right before this announcement, I did hear some community members saying that they wondered what is happening in Miami. And, you know, uh, is someone playing a game in Miami? We would like to, to hear more about that city. Hey, this is your chance. And Nightlife is going to premiere during Elysium event. And it, it has a storyteller of uh, Diana Dimitko. And the players are Nora Ibrahim and Cynthia Marie, you may know them already, Jennifer Kretschmer and Gabe Hicks. So these are the players for this chronicle. Uh, set in Miami and uh, run by Renegade, uh, which is going to launch during Elysium event on June 11th. And it's going to go on weekly, I believe every Wednesday uh, after that uh, time. And of course, um, the streaming time 8 p.m. Pacific might not be the best for a lot of our Europeans out there because that's the middle of our night, but it's going to be available later on to watch uh, on demand. So worry not, you will be able to see it uh, if you haven't caught it live. And we are very excited for this. We think that it's going to be fun. I've heard that Diana is actually a great storyteller. I haven't seen her storytelling yet. So I am very, uh, very excited to, to see that one. Um, and no, they are not playing uh, Nelly and Ape. These are new characters. So both Cynthia and Nora are playing uh, uh, new characters. Exciting! <laughs> And so what news is saying that they do upload their Vampire Wednesdays quite fast. Yes, when it comes to uploading things to uh, videos on demand after Elysium event, it may take some time because there are a lot of things happening during Elysium. And uh, I do assume that just for the span of time and, and the amount of time that it takes to prepare this stuff, uh, they might just upload things one per day. But uh, I am not sure yet. It's all up to Renegade and it's good if you guys will um, you know, ask them if you are specifically interested in something to watch on demand afterwards but it will be rolling out uh, after Elysium event in some span of time so eventually it's all going to be on the mat um <laughs> path of the floridian in sabat v5 i think like someone should humble it and just take uh, the um, uh, the, the the news from Florida Man uh, on on Google and just get some lower sheet marriage from that. I think that would be pretty interesting. <laughs> I can't promise uh, any 
um, any any events like this covered in a nightlife Miami by Night uh, chronicle, but maybe <laughs> we will see. I am very excited for this one, and uh, I want to see, especially what Nora and Cynthia are going to make with their new characters, because uh, it's always exciting to see people in a new role. Okay, so speaking of Weekend of Darkness schedule, uh, this is the full schedule for what's going to happen next week. And as you can see, the first day starts at 3 p.m. PST, the second day starts at uh, 12 p.m. PST. So both of these are pretty late European uh, wise. Earlier on, on the same days, uh, there are going to be uh, there's going to be Onyx PathCon. Actually, I am going to participate in one of the Onyx PathCon's uh, role-playing one-shots in V5. It is going to be story told by Matthew Dawkins, and I'm going to be playing one of the characters there. So uh, I believe it's on Saturday before the event. I'm going to role-play uh, on Onyx PathCon, and then we're going to, to go in with Renegade. So it's going to be an exciting weekend full of stuff. Onyx Path is going to uh, do a lot of role playing. There's going to be a plenty of uh, um, V5 stories told. And uh, Renegade is going to have one chronicle, which is Nightlife, and that's going to be a role playing show. And the rest of that is uh, basically panels, workshops, and uh, um, things that are more uh, into that um, theme. So I'm going to kick off the event on both of the days with trivia. And then later on, we're going to have the news dispatch. So this is, uh, I think this is the one that you guys might be looking forward to a lot. Uh, the Renegade News Dispatch on Friday, they will tell you about what they are planning uh, regarding the releases of the TTRPGs and Rivals and basically all the stuff that is being cooked and uh, that is going to be released. So that's going to be discussed. And um, the panel on Saturday, this one, how to use Book of Not, is going to be run by Justin Achille. I know you guys like Justin's enthusiasm. It's very um, infectious. Uh, I am per personally always very happy to, to listen to Justin talking about Vampire the Masquerade. But yeah, he's going to talk about the Book of Not and uh, uh, how to use that in your roleplay because there's going to be a new edition of the Book of Not released. And uh, we also will have... For you guys, a lot of new reveals from Sabat. So this is the event to look forward to if you want to um, know more stuff about uh, Sabat and what's going to be in the Sabat book. We did talk about it with Justin, but this event is going to have some actually, you know, things that you can check out and things that you can you can see from the book. So we're going to show you way more during Elysium. Uh, there was a question from the chat. Are the Pride shirts going to be sold past June? Yes, up until July 31st. So the shop is going to be open for two months. So this month and July. Um, Let's even start at Friday, Saturday midnight for those in Central European uh, time. A Friday midnight, but Saturday that's earlier. It's like 9 p.m. our time for those of you who are in Central Europe. So... Yeah, so yeah, we're going to talk about all of these things during this event uh, when it comes to... Oh yeah, and Jason. Jason has a very cool panel in there. He actually is going to be um, seen during two panels. There's LA by Night Special, uh, which is something that we're going to reveal more news about soon. And Jason, Jason's Storytellers uh, Workshop, when he is going to talk about his storytelling techniques. So for those of you guys who want to get to uh, know a little bit more about uh, storytelling secrets from Jason. That's going to be the one for you. And of course, there's going to be a Rivals panel for uh, if you're interested in, in the new updates uh, from Rivals team. Uh, Matt, last week on the interview on the What News show, he said something about what is going to be revealed. So there were some teases already, but you may expect uh, talks about new expansions and uh, new things coming for Rivals. And of course, the events which are coming for Rivals as well. They're going to be on Gen Con. Uh, there's going to be a Prince of the City event during Gen Con where uh, you will be able to, to battle it out with other players. And uh, they will also make uh, Annabelle, character by Erika Ishii, into a card from Rivals. 
So yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff in here. Oh yeah, knowledge check is also going to be really fun. Everything is going to be fun. But <laughs> yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that this is something to look forward to. And of course, if you will miss it because of uh, either a late hour for you guys or just a busy weekend, it is going to be available on demand later on. They will be rolling out the content on their uh, social media and, and YouTube. Oh, okay. Point at LA by night special and make words, please. I can't say words yet. Uh, the words are to be said by Jason here during this panel. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I just can't say that I'm very excited for that. I think everyone is excited for everything. Anything new coming um, about LA by night. And uh, I am definitely one of these people. <laughs> Justin in chat is saying, I heard that in the next season of LA by night, redacted is revealed to be redacted. <laughs> I agree. I absolutely agree. Okay, and for more news, we actually uh, got some uh, nice little previews from Flyos Games regarding uh, Werewolf the Apocalypse Retaliation. They have revealed uh, some of the miniatures and they did say that there are um, 12 miniatures and 64 combinations uh, for the free forums that are available for, um, for the, the werewolves in this game. Homit, Quinos, and Lupus. Uh, they uh, haven't, uh, you know, got all the five forms just because the game would be incredibly <laughs> expensive if they added this many miniatures to the game. But yeah, you can expect definitely the same quality of the miniatures and, and the, the detail and design uh, that you could see in Vampire the Masquerade chapters. And um, this is just the beginning. Of course, they are going to plan more. The game in general is based on the same system as Vampire the Masquerade chapters, but uh, there's way more combat involved in, um, in Werewolf Retaliation. Uh, so Retaliation is going to launch in, on Kickstarter next year, early next year. And um, yeah, we are awaiting uh, more news regarding Vampire the Masquerade chapters as well. They've announced a slight delay of the game last month. There is a full post on their Kickstarter if you guys want to read about that. Uh, these guys are really very, very, very hardcore set on the quality of their game. They really want to deliver this game looking the best as they can and having the best content. And they invested tons of money into chapters and tons of resources to make sure that the quality is going to be to be top notch. And of course, pandemic and everything caused uh, some delays and uh, things happening with the with the miniatures. I remember talking to Flyos Games uh, back in the days when before I even worked uh, to, in Paradox, and um, I got sent um, the. Um, uh, sample miniatures from chapters, which already looked really, really good. But they said that uh, they wanted them to be made from better quality materials, so they had to delay them a bit and order them from a different factory, pay a lot of more money in order to have them made again, because they wanted them to be made from better materials and to make sure that they are uh, nicer to paint and nicer to play with. So uh, these guys are really <laughs> not taking any compromises, uh, which of course means that uh, there is still a plenty of time to wait for these games to come. But but uh, once they come, damn, I'm going to spend days painting these <laughs> and, and having fun with my chapters. It is, it is especially great that um, both chapters and uh, retaliation can be played uh, solo. You don't have to have friends to play this game with. You can be just forever alone <laughs> and, and play it as I will play it just by myself. But, <laughs> but you can also play with a team up to uh, four players total. So, so yeah. Yeah, Flyos guys are really amazing. And speaking of that, I recommend you guys to go to their socials um, and ask them questions. Uh, if you will check out their Facebook page for, uh, there's, they have separate pages for Vampire the Masquerade's uh, uh, chapters and Werewolf the Apocalypse Retaliation. And in the comments, when people are asking about content of the game, they are actually providing replies. So there's a lot of more information uh, shared through these comments and you can just ask any questions you have. They are very responsive and, and really, really nice team. Very passionate about what they're doing. So I recommend you guys to check it out. And yeah, Werewolf the Apocalypse Retaliation coming to Kickstarter early next year. As we're waiting for chapters to come, I believe, in February next year. So that's, that's where it's going to ship. Okay, guys. So now, uh, before we get to the fast travels, um, ask me anything on Discord, I want to give you... Oh yeah, first of all, talk about this a little bit, but then, of course, give you a little roundup of, uh, of some pride posts that people were sharing. So, um, Fast Travel Games is the company behind Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife. 
they are actually right now located on the same street as we are. Uh, so we have a uh, very, very close uh, uh, distance to them, which is great. I hope that once the pandemic is going to end, we're going to, to meet more often because they're really cool guys and girls. And uh, they are uh, working exclusively on VR games, which is, um, you know, a, a whole different uh, philosophy of design as well. There, there, there's a lot of research that comes into it uh, about accessibility, about making sure that the games are... Um, are just as fun to play and as real as they can feel. And for those of you who played Rave, you, you know very well what I'm talking about. You do feel like Ed in many moments when you play um, Afterlife. There's a lot of things that the little vibration uh, in your controllers that happens when you are using your power to search for your shadow. Um, all of these things, the, the fact that you have to, you know, manually use the key to open the doors, it just makes it all feel very real. But also these games need to be very much accessible for the newcomers to VR. So there's um, a lot of uh, science behind making sure that, um, that they are designed this way. And uh, yeah, Rave is actually, I, I think, a very faithful adaptation of, uh, of the role-playing setting and uh, the whole theme of Rave which we are extremely happy about. We love when games really show our setting in the same way that we love it and, and we want to show it to the world. And uh, yeah, there are, uh, of course, a lot of things that Fast Travel Games are also working on currently and uh, um, Rave is, uh, is something that uh, I really hope is going to, to kickstart them in the, in the future of uh, VR gaming. But uh, uh, yeah, if you have any questions to them, they're going to be on our Discord today. And um, they all, all have, I believe, FTG um, uh, name in their, in their nicknames, so you will know uh, who they are. And they, their nicknames are yellow. So if you will see yellow nicknames uh, with the FTG, that's uh, the developers that are going to be on our Discord. So if you will go to discord.gg slash world of darkness, if you haven't been there, you just got to accept the rules to be let into the server. You will see uh, the channel that is right now up in the upcoming event section called AMA WTO Afterlife. And this is where you will be able to ask your questions. And two of you guys who are asking questions uh, to the developers will have a chance to win this beautiful metal Barclay Mansion key, which is a really nice uh, trinket to have. And uh, it is exactly the same key that you use in the game to, to open things. Um, People are asking about uh, other unannounced games. Unfortunately, you can't talk about any unannounced games. <laughs> and also, when are we getting Werewolf to the RPG? I can say for sure that we are working on it, but we are only going to share the exact dates once we are comfortable with sharing the exact dates. But we are definitely working on, on Werewolf. So there are unannounced games. I mean, there are always unannounced games. <laughs> Every time, all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's fair to say that uh, that always and forever we are living in NDE prisons. <laughs> but uh, okay, and now to go to something fun, I uh, prepared a little additional slideshow that is going to just run here in the background from some of the pride posts um, that were shared on social media. Uh, so if you will go to either Twitter or Instagram and search uh, hashtag family pride, there is a lot of wonderful stuff going on in there. People are sharing their um, stories as players, storytellers, uh, creators, their artworks, the backgrounds of their characters, and a lot more. And we are going to share some of these on our Instagram as well. I right now have a queue that is going like every single day, there's going to be something happening. So. Um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy these and we're going to celebrate this month together uh, because we, we really believe, uh, you know, from the beginning, you know, from the 90s, uh, World of Darkness was always a very diverse and diverse welcoming uh, system. And uh, there is, it, it's, it's only visible right now with so many people reaching out to us and saying that uh, not only they have great diverse campaigns and chronicles and they're playing with with diverse crew of people but also something that really makes me super happy when people are reaching out and saying that world of darkness in some way helped them to express themselves and find you know like like their own stuff and uh, things about themselves 
And, and that's, I think, true for most of us who ever role played. Um, role playing, as much as it's not, uh, you know, a, a replacement, you know, for, for any therapy or, you know, making sure that, uh, that uh, we're, all, we're all good. But it, it's something that we can definitely use to explore uh, who we are and what we are comfortable with. And uh, this is something that also helped me a lot uh, on my way. And I hope that it's going to be the same for you guys. It's, it's great. I'm super happy this is happening. I am just uh, extremely joyful all month. June in general is such a nice month. Uh, it, Sweden looks freaking amazing right now. I have a blue sky out of my window, which, you know, as a vampire should hate it, but I love it. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, yeah, Craig, thank you so much for saying that you love the stories and the pictures. Of course, we're going to share more World of Darkness stories as the time goes by. And uh, yeah, I hope you will, you will enjoy these. And for any other news that we haven't uh, said today about any other products, as soon as we have any news, uh, they're going to be all brought in here. And uh, yeah, I really hope that you will enjoy this convention season that is uh, going on here in June and next month. And uh, yeah, I'm very much waiting for, for all of the new announcements. Are these going to be posted on what, Twitter or Facebook or something? Okay, so I'm going to post when you're watching on YouTube. Um, you're going to, to see that in the, in the bottom of the video. But if you're uh, watching here on Twitch, I'm going to post you some links. So when it comes to World of Darkness stories, you can go to instagram.com slash world of darkness. That's, uh, I think, the most comfortable way of reading them. Uh, if you don't like Instagram for any reason, they're also available on Facebook and Tumblr. Um, so these are the stories uh, that we are uh, sharing and uh, this month we are going to share the stories of your characters in there. So I'm doing in-character interviews and they will be rolling out slowly as the month, month goes by. We also have an Instagram, instagram.com slash vampire the masquerade. And there you can see a lot of fan art and uh, people, uh, people's, you know, um, art assets, basically. So I am sharing there, of course, uh, a lot of things that we create. But as uh, uh, this month is going to, to, to roll, I am sharing uh, people's artworks and their credentials. So they can check out who these characters are, who drew, drew them, who role plays them. And uh, that's going to be the, the major focus of our Insta this uh, month and of course you can also go to whatstoriestumblr.com if that's the more uh, comfortable way for you to read the stories and so you can go to our twitter where we'll be sharing more of these as well uh world of darkness there's a lot of li links i'm going to post them below below the stream below the youtube video as well okay so that's it for this week, guys. I'm going to meet you next week for more. Next week is going to be busy as hell because we have Onyx PathCon, we have Elysium Convention, and uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff shared. So we will have uh, plenty of news and I hope that you will join us here. But as for now, join us on Discord and that's last one, la last link I'm going to share in the chat. Discord, that's GG slash World of Darkness. And once you will join us there, the, there's going to be Ask Me Anything with fast travel games happening there very soon. So drop your questions in uh, AMA WTO Afterlife channel, which is one of the very top ones once you will uh, get through the verifications. And so uh, we'll be waiting there for you with two exclusive Barclay Mansion keys to, to give out. Thank you so much for joining. See you later. And I'm going to get myself some tea for my voice. <laughs> Don't get lost in the night. Bye.